request from a user recently that asked me, Bob, can you tell me the difference between a quick mask and a layer mask? And can you show me how to use them? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is show you in this image how to use a quick mask. And what we're going to use the quick mask uh, it for is to uh, saturate this uh, pasture that the cow is in. But the first thing I need to do is duplicate this uh, background layer. So I'm going to hold down the control uh, key and hit the letter J, and that will give me a, a duplicate of the background layer. Next thing I need to do is select the brush that's suitable. I've already selected my brush, and I have the opacity set to 100%. And then I'm going to hit the letter Q on my keyboard to bring up the, the uh, go into the quick mask mode. Now, now I've done that. Now I'm in the quick mask mode, and now I'm just going to basically select the areas that I want selected and to and what we're going to do is we're going to put this area on its own layer after we selected it okay now you see in this in this little area here I've, I've uh, overextended the brush and basically all I need to do is is use white and I can get that back out and black creates the mask, white erases the mask. So anywhere I've I've ex overextended myself, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a for instance. Well, in this area here, I've just painted with black. If I switch my brush to white, I can erase that mask right there. We got a little maybe on this tree. Okay. So once I've created my uh, uh, my quick mask. I hit the letter Q again, and that brings up our selection. Now, basically what happened here is that the quick match selected everything but the area that I really want. So what I need to do is inverse this selection, and the way we do that is hold down the Control, Shift, and the letter I, and that inverts the selection. Next thing we're going to do is bring this uh, this selection on its own layer, and we do that by holding down Control and the letter J, and that brings the that brings the uh, selection on onto its own layer, and I've done that right here in layer two. And what we're going to do is now we're going to saturate this letter not uh, layer. Now, <clears throat> there's many ways of doing this. I'm going to do a real quick one. I'm going to bring up the U saturation dialog box by hitting Control U, and that brings up the U saturation. And all I'm going to do is increase the saturation for this particular layer, and we'll bring it up to, let's say, about 46 looks good, and click OK. So this is before and that's after. Already it's beginning, the eyes being drawn to the center of the photograph. That's exactly what I wanted. But you know something? You know, th these are very, very pretty, pretty blossoms. And I want to, I want to emphasize these blossoms. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to brighten up the blossoms. But in order to do that, I need to go back down to our duplicate layer, ba background layer, okay? And what I'm going to do is bring up the Curves dialog box. And I do that by holding down Control M. Now, I'm going to bring up the midtones uh, uh, areas uh, on this image. And we're just going to basically, all we're going to do is grab a point right in the middle, and we're just going to bring it up and brighten up the entire image and click OK. But <clears throat> you said to me, Bob, show me how to create a layer mask and show me what to do with it. Well, OK. So what we're going to do is create a layer mask now. And the way we do that is one of two ways. We can hold down, add a layer mask icon down here. And you can see that creates the layer mask. But there's another way of doing that, too. If I hold down the Alt key and click on the layer mask, it creates a layer mask, but it, 
it 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 makes the whole layer mask black. So it's 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 not allowing the layer one to shine down on background. Uh, so any effects that I've made here in the in layer one, the duplicate layer, I'm not going to show through because the layer mask is black. So we what we need to do is selectively uh, allow the mask to shine through the areas we want on layer one. And one of the ways we do that is we select a soft brush and I've done that and I'm going to reduce it and I'm just going to paint in the areas that I want to shine through. Now I've already created a, a layer mask prior to this uh, tutorial and I'll load that mask this is not part of the tutorial but it's just for the benefit of uh, time I'm just going to load that those selections right there and in the prior image I've already selected these and this is what I came up with so we added a saturated pasture for the cow and I'm sure he's a lot happier he's got greener grass to eat and we've created a layer mask to bring up the blossoms so this is our before and that's our after thank you